What's up, Zox fam? And we're back with some more Dead Slight. Now, we're going to be getting into the showcase and just the overall, I would say, build for Leon. Uh, now, this character, I'm not going to lie, uh, this is actually probably going to be an excellent character for newer players to be able to pick up. And she's going to give you some absolutely amazing value uh, at a what I would consider a much easier build than some other units that you might come across. Uh, now, the great thing about this unit is that she is flow attuned, and I will say that they just tend to kind of favor these units but either way we're gonna go ahead and jump into it uh now as far as her skills we're gonna quickly overview just kind of what she's doing um to give you those of you guys that have no idea about what she's doing you know what the value is right so uh you have the droplet attack so she attacks one enemy uh damage is 30 percent of attack plus five percent max hp 100 uh, percent chance of inflicting attack down for two turns and then grants recovery to the ally with the lowest hp percentage for two turns now I'm not going to lie to you guys. I've been saving five star Abilamon for quite some time now. And I actually pulled the trigger and max skilled her up. Like I was like, no, she's getting a max skill up because she honestly has a very, very solid kit. So then going into the bubble bath, uh, attacks one enemy four times. Damage per hit is 15% of attack plus 2.5% max HP. Each hit has a 50% chance of inflicting the, uh, them with a 10% AP pushback. Uh, and then each hit heals the ally with the lowest HP percentage and they healing is 8% max HP. Uh, each hit grants the ally 10% AP. And this is on a three turn cooldown. And you're going to love the build because it doesn't state that it can't be uh, manipulated by any other like thing. So uh, it is actually like, you'll see, you'll see, right? Uh, now going into the S3, which is the protective foam. Uh, so she gains the dream bubble for uh, two turns, uh, grants all allies defense up for, and shield for two turns. And she Shield strength is 60% of Leon's max HP on a four turn cooldown at max skill up. Uh, of course, with the captain ability of a just generalized increase of ally HP by 30%, which is amazing. I would say that's even a commonly used lead. So it's actually really nice. She has that. Uh, and of course, going into her equipment, what are we equipping her with? Uh, I actually have her on ocean waves groove. Um, I will say that you can do the uh, Panicia set for more healing efficiency. So to get, you know, more healing potency out of her uh, but I decided to do ocean waves because I really wanted her to be able to rotate her s3 uh, as much as she possibly can um, and considering that I don't have her r2 yet where she gets the bonus turn um, this is honestly I feel like an excellent set for her uh, especially if you're going to have her max skilled up and even if you don't uh, this is going to help you out significantly with reducing those cooldown times so uh, again Ocean waves, HP percent, HP percent, and speed. Okay, very very easy build on the groove set. Uh, now, obviously, I got some shaving to do. Like, I got to get this extra crit rate off, but I pretty much just rolled this set for her, so I got to go into the fine tuning process with her. Uh, but for the most part, as long as you're focusing those values, she should be good, right? Uh, and it's ironic too with this specific build uh, and really the specific set. It rolled a lot of resist. She has like. 78% resist right now and I wasn't even trying to actually aim for that so I'm not upset about that because when I also think about a unit that I mean more than likely will if in any case and scenario if you're using her in a PvP situation uh, they're going to try to disease her like that's, that's gonna happen like they're, they're gonna try to prevent her uh, from being able to or even just I would say even just locking her silencing her or something um, because she has such such crazy potency with how her kit works um and one of the great things and this is why i was also mentioning she's such a good unit uh for uh newer players because i'm gonna show you exactly where she's good at um outside of you know some of the other projected spaces so uh as far as rezos go uh should you be going or aiming for that r2 or you know even more um, i would definitely say that it all really depends on you know again what you real realistically have to summon i feel like the r0 is more than enough but if you can get the r2 with her uh she then of course will be even better it gives her that extra turn which allows her to go right into that s2 which is going to make her flow a little bit more efficiently um especially because of the fact it's an ap pushback and a heal um which is going to be significant to keeping you know again keeping your team alive right so that's just kind of that now we're going to get into showcasing her um as say kind of like at an in-game standard uh now we're going to go to my ritual miracle now my chronos run i usually run in the slot that I put her in. Um, I actually run uh, Schwan, uh, uh, what is her name? Uh, Schwan Penn. 
Yeah, Sean Penn, I think it is. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of usually who's taking up this slot. And I was like, you know what? Let me keep the same team because I feel like these are some pretty average units that you would see in Kronos. Uh, so we're running Leora Lead, Ali. Uh, we have uh, Azur Dragon, Death Guard, Hay. Uh, and then, of course, we have Leon. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and blitz this because I want you guys to see uh, the consistency here, right? And the great thing about her on this comp is that she helps with the sustaining so well. And I would say uh, I did a few 10 out of 10s uh, with her on this comp. And it's about a 32 to 33 turn average, like somewhere around there. Um, really all depends, obviously, on the run itself. Uh, but again, she is going to be a unit that you can utilize for a 10 out of 10. Uh, we're going to go to the much faster one just so we can see, like, you know, with, you know, whatever RNGs and stuff happen. Because that's the other thing. She is on Ocean Wave. Um, so again, when you you know kind of take away those RNG based sets, uh, units do tend to perform you know a little bit more consistently as far as like turns and stuff like that. But again, maybe a unit might not create that, that is always a possibility, right? So you got to think about those kinds of scenarios. Uh, but for what it's worth, uh, she is going to be a huge asset in just making sure the team stays alive. Uh, so for those of you guys that are still pushing and trying to work towards like say a Sally, for example, uh, Leon actually going to be honestly looks like she's going to be a pretty solid substitute uh the defense up with the shield is massive look at how much shield that is and on top of that um you're also looking at when they get hit they get that also crazy ridiculous amount of healing um and of course if you're using the panicia set you're going to see even more healing value coming out of that uh and look at that they're all like just getting hp back like as long as she's in that bubble state all of those extra hits that chronos does is completely irrelevant right Right? Uh, and this allows you to really be able to sustain the team fairly well, I would even argue, um, considering that she's not just like healing, like, you know, like just a massive amount of HP all at once. Like it really is just all coming from the fact that you are being hit, which is honestly insane it is absolutely insane how she works. So this is why, like for me, even on the test server, uh, she's coming into the game, I would say tearing really, really high um, just because of the fact that she just you just slapped her in here i didn't have to go crazy with trying to fine tune or any of that like she just gets slapped in here and then of course uh trying to utilize her making use of her in like a situation like pvp for example so let's go and try out some pvp we're going to do some blitzes uh so you guys can kind of see uh how she operates and we'll see if we can we can see, we'll see if we can win some matches. So I'm in point war 15 right now. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's we're just gonna challenge anybody. Now I'm not actually using a healer right now, um, so that is gonna be a little bit of a thing. I guess we'll probably mm, who are we gonna take out? That's gonna be kind of interesting to see like how this is gonna work. Maybe we'll take out tier. Let's try tier. Just take out tier and try Leon for example. Um, here we go. Uh, oh, you know what? I was about to say, like, why is she not ge uh, geared? It's because I don't have her. Uh, <laughs> I don't have her geared for PvP yet. Um, we just got her. We just got her. So, so cut your boy some slack. Cut your boy some slack. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and slap this piece on her. Um, I know I probably had that on someone else, but I figure why not? It has a speed on it, so we will we will take that additional speed. So we're gonna gear her up real quick because. Yeah, we want to make sure she ain't getting insta clapped as soon as she goes <laughs> into the fight. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and use that one. We're going to call it a day. Uh, and then we're going to pick up our speed groove. Uh, I guess we can use this one for now. And that's kind of the nice thing about PvP loadouts is that, like, I know, like, I probably have that equipped to someone else in PV, uh, PvE, but uh, because I don't uh, actually know who it's actually to, we're just going to go ahead and take it. So there we go. All right, cool. Um, so we're going to go with that for her loadout. Let's go ahead and try. Let's see what we can get here going. Um, I mean, they had a Unis. I don't know what happened. We're going to replay that, though, um, just to see what happened here. But I'm almost certain that she did give some value there because, again, uh, for what it's worth, okay, this team was actually extremely fast over me. So I'm actually kind of intrigued to see what happens here. Um, because again, this is, I was considered some testing for me because I haven't been able to test her at any PVP. So I kind of want to see like what she's going to do here. Um, especially what like, my Gabby died. Like what happened? All right, here we go. So defense up breath of the deep. We got Elliot too. Not going to lie. Elliot is actually pretty strong. So yeah, right there. Oh man. Yeah. She's going to be a problem in PVP. Cause look at that. Like all that, all those, all those hits right there. Look, health. Oh my God. 
Yeah. Yo, yeah, she's going to be a problem, dude. She's going to be such a problem. Because, yeah, the fact that I lost the whole character, they got a whole team pushing against me. And as, as long as she's in that bubble state, the worst thing that you could actually do is AP push her back. That's actually probably one of the worst things that you can do um, while she's in that state. And the crazy thing is it's an undispellable. Like, dude, this is, a, I, I don't know. Like, this is this is premium freaking value. Like, it is premium value with this chick. I, I, I actually, I feel like I'm going to really, like, once I'm able to, like, fine-tune her, I'm going to really like her. Because look at this. They're not doing, oh, my God, dude. The worst thing you can do is AP push her back. Like, you have to stop that. But, you, like, you have to literally go before her and, like, silence her before she can get that dream bubble off because otherwise like dude look at the work down on that now mind you even though it might look like they have more hp value my hide is almost at 50 stacks he gets all that hp back right there um let's see if he stays alive nice oh my gosh she went right back into it yeah give me my hp back oh my god dude she's gonna be so disgusting dude all of those wells man oh man oh man Dude, I was at a complete disadvantage in this fight. I, I, I like honestly, a complete disadvantage, a complete disadvantage, dude. She is ridiculous. Oh man, that that I'm not gonna lie, that right there is problematic. <laughs> And the crazy thing is, is like when you have her at R2, she gets the extra turn. So then you're not wasting her just popping the bubble and it just nothing happening. She gets to go into the S2, which then gives some additional healing. So her survivability, uh, I would say that she brings to the table is actually pretty freaking ridiculous. Uh, we're going to try another one. Uh, I'm, I, I'm just like actually very impressed with that. Okay, so we caught an L. I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that because this is testing. I want to see what happened here. I'm almost certain this team probably cleaves the crap out of me. And this is like actually really good to also show again. Like, yeah, th yeah. if you, yeah, right here, they, they just murked me. <laughs> they just went so much faster than me. Yeah, right there. That's GG. GG. They went so much faster than me. It wasn't much you're doing there. It wasn't much you're, yeah. So like perfect example. This is actually perfect. Stun her ass. Like if you can't, if you can't get, if you can't do anything, stun her, right? And for me, it's like again, I want you guys to see this kind of stuff because you know you watch some of these showcases and you usually just get to see the unit be super OP and just clap everybody. But I think it is good to know that there is a countermeasure to her. Uh, if you can, if you could just silence her or stun her before she can get that off, uh, that actually will help out significantly. But again. Don't let her get that dream bubble off, dude. That's that's gonna be a that's gonna be a whole issue. Um, so yeah, I'm actually like I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna do some more testing with her. I'm actually like. I'm actually kind of impressed that that match went the way it did. So being able to actually see her not only on a good spectrum, but also when, you know, she just getting she just get countered. Uh, yeah, getting stunning her. It actually helps out a lot. Uh, not going to lie. I feel like her with like maybe like um, Alice probably would go crazy, like with the buff extension and stuff like that. So, again, um, I will say all in all and through and through, she's bringing you value in PVE. Um, and I would honestly say it could even be argued when you're looking at wave clearing content she's actually going to be pretty solid at that like if you like using sally the only thing that she's not giving you is the purification uh, instead she's giving you defense up with shield and then the heal when you're taking damage um which i feel like is honestly pretty freaking good uh and i honestly felt like especially in a while i haven't felt like this hype about a character that's come into the game um that i just feel like out the box before like not even having to think about r2ing her she's giving you such amazing value so that's why i personally like i said i pulled the trigger on her i got some fine tuning like i said to still do with her um but i wanted to make sure that you guys seen her at a in-game perspective uh to kind of give you an idea of what to look forward to and what to kind of expect so again Happy summoning to those of you guys that are going to be pulling. Good luck. Uh, I hope you guys are able to get Leon. Um, but I will say, if you have the opportunity to wish stoner and it comes up, this is not a bad unit to pick up. So, yeah, guys, that's going to be pretty much that, guys. Stay blessed. Stay charged up. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.